Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy, and thank you for joining me for devotions again today. We're continuing with the theme of hope and rediscovering hope during Christmas in these uncertain times. And I want to read a verse in Romans 15 for us this morning. The Bible says in Romans 15, 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, yesterday we talked about one of the two characters we spoke about Sunday morning in the service, and that was Simeon. Well, there was somebody else there, this other character who had been waiting for the Messiah to come all these years. This lady was 84 years old, and her name was Anna, and she was a prophetess. And she, too, like Simeon, was waiting for the coming of the Messiah, watching, but not just passively waiting. She was actively involved in worshiping and serving, and nothing slowed her down, not even losing her husband at a very young age. She was a widow for much of her life, and that was a tough thing to be in this time period because it was a, a, a lower statue, and, and people looked down on widows and things like that. Very different than in our culture today, but she, none of this slowed her down. She kept serving. She kept faithfully going to the temple, looking for the Messiah that was going to come. Her hope was so contagious that when she saw Jesus and when she saw Mary and Joseph, her hope kind of overflowed. And she began to tell everybody she could about the Messiah was finally here. And that's the theme of today, hope that overflows. And we can have that hope that overflows, like in our verse it says, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul says it just so beautifully that our hope can overflow. And when we have that hope inside of us, when our eyes are on Christ and our walk with him, man, I'm telling you what, that hope is contagious. And I'm, I'm the type of person, I don't like to be around depressing, down complaining people. I kind of hide from them because I don't like it because it brings me down. I want to be around somebody who's encouraging, who's uplifting, who's positive, who's moving forward and has a vision and a goal and is going and doing something. And if we can be that kind of a person. We get it, as Paul says, oh, we can have that hope uh, overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. It comes and it's, it reminds me of a little kid at Christmas morning. You know, I have four kids. Morgan is 15, Gabe's 13, Alyssa's 10, and Joe's 2. And Morgan and Gabe, they're kind of outgrown the, the that wonder of Christmas morning. You know, they know dad and mom, and they kind of give us the list of what they want kind of thing for Christmas. But Allie, and even when Gabe and Morgan were little, watching them on Christmas morning, opening up those presents, I mean, it was just like, oh. I mean, it, they were just bright. They were excited. There was this just enthusiasm. I mean, it was just kind of like this uncontainable enthusiasm that they had. And that's what this is talking about. It's an overflowing hope. It's so contagious that people around us get excited because of what we have. And it's the same kind of hope that God gives us that sustains us through difficult times. We can have that kind of hope where it's overflowing, where people see us and they know something is different and they're going to want to know what it is. Because in a dark world that's going through unparalleled times, people are looking for hope. And we're the ones who have the answer. I hope you'll be a hope dealer. I hope that your hope is overflowing. I want to encourage you to be that kind of a person today. I hope also that you'll get into God's Word and you'll read it for yourself and see what He has for you. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.